Hello, chat. Uh, everybody talked shit about your spot last night while you were sleeping. No. Said so no thanks. I caught uh, three shinies here last night in two hours, so. How's my new shiny license? Uh, it's weird, because I feel like I don't have to give a shit when I drive anymore. So, you know. I'll probably die in a car accident now. Thanks, chat. I'm just telling you, Noel. There was like two or three people that went to your spot last night, and uh, everybody left and said it sucked. I'm not, I'm not just giving you shit, I'm just, uh, telling you how it is, how it be. Oh, did not cast far enough. Is it that place in front of the lily pads that's, like, really far away? That you got off the YouTube? No. How far away is it? I mean, I'll venture there if I don't have to drive, like, past the Mason-Dixon line. But I just started, so I mean, my fish have been okay so far. Not really. I lied. That's ten minutes. It felt like four, but it was ten. The tip of the flaccid ween in C7. C7, tip of the ween. Well, that's like super close. Yeah, I can see the ween. Uh, I had like the best bait bite of my life here the other day, but it was insane because every single fish was under three kilograms, which I, I don't know, I've never had that happen. It was like a school of tiny carp appeared and it was just three rods going for like an hour straight. And I caught like 65, 70 carp under three kilograms. It was really confusing. And then they left. I'll try your ween. Do I have to do some stupid bait thing too? I don't have any of this stuff. I think it really, man, like comparing spots to PVA and non-PVA is pointless. Yeah, maybe I caught them all. They left. Yeah. Man, I got some good sleep today. I'm using strawberry vanilla in various forms. Everybody shit on method feeders, so I just like never really tried it, but it feels really good without PVA or a rocket feeder. At least here, it's been, it, those rods have definitely been bing, bing, bing in a lot faster than the other. Even when I was throwing ground bait. Headed out onto the ween. Method IRL is great. And it, I mean, I in the game it shouldn't be much different than a rocket feeder either. Is this the ween? Am I weaned up? I don't want to listen to ween. Am I throwing here? How far? 
Am I throwing into this grass? Is that the ticket? Straight this way? Stand here? Come on, man. You're too slow. I could have had fish in the boat already. I took a guess and threw. I was a little... I hooked a little to the left, but it'll be fine. Did you fucking reel down? I also think I spread out my rods too much when I carp fish. Because it's IRL. That's what I would do. It would make more sense. Give that coverage, you know? Scoop. Yeah, this spot sucks. Confirmed. I get why everyone was complaining. Horrible. Sand in your gine gine. Look at my tiny wiener chat. Pointy. My boilies are small. Ooh, look at that walk. I never noticed. Oh, yeah. Sway, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's a model walk. Whose legs are that close together? Strut your stuff. It's a superhero run. <coughs> no, where's the fish at? Look, I got uh, 20. Oh, this one's big. Never mind. I lied about my boily size. That one's big. This one's small, though, for sure. That's medium. Nope, nope. I guess I went to 2020s. Weird. I had been running small. Weird. When did I go full 2020? I don't even remember doing that. Give your ground bait a little time to attract some fish. It ain't gonna happen. You're all ahead. No, I won't. No, I'm, uh, one, I'm, I didn't gain a si I played for like an hour last night. Okay, it was like two. It was supposed to be an hour while I was waiting for Alice to fall asleep. Uh, I didn't gain a single fucking decimal point. I need 1.6 decimal points. It's killing me. I want out. I'd have caught fish over there by now. Just staying up. I had been getting about 0.3% a day. A 0.2. But yesterday, big suck. The scarcity of trophies here doesn't help, I don't think. I think I, I really do think I should go back to Fishing for something in the middle there. I don't know. I just don't have a good one. I wish there was some dumb fish. Easy enough to chase. That I hadn't caught a thousand of. I 
I heard black carp and silver carp were biting. Or not black carp, silver carp and big heads, but... Every time I hear that, it's a lie. It's tiny, huh? Like a babby. Is that a crucian carp? Thanks for the hot spot, Noel. A gibble. the first gibble I've caught at Amber. Thanks. Nobody a second one. Nope. Just kidding. He gone. Wait, was he still there? He's still there. That's a big gibble. No, I'm just uh, carp fishing, trying to get some points in bottom fishing. Where are you, you dumb fish? Oh, there you are. Oh, I wish it was a gibble. Oh, never mind. That made the cut. Oops, I didn't throw that far enough. Strawberry's got to be on top. Them's the rule. That's salmon. Wait, why does that line have sli- Oh, that's why. Oh, it's little. I think I see a line. Mira. Why even play it then, Danny? What are you going to do without gibblers? Someday I gotta buy a new vape. This thing is just on death's door. I'm so poor. Look at the screen. 
you shake it, it goes out, turns off sometimes. Sir Cool Dean's name is the 71 months. The battery door is so loose that I have to stick some tin foil and washers in there to make the connection work. It's safe. I mean, Ultimate Fishing Simulator was Garbo, so I expected two to also be Garbo. Come here, mediocre fish. Be a shiny. Are you shiny? You're grass. You're mostly made of grass. Sir, you're not shiny. Hello, path. You're also not big enough to get the cafe order. Rude. Hello, cat. Lead. I really need more ramps on this map, you know, to pass the time. Six stunts. frozen in the air that's pretty tight I got my line snagged in the middle of the air the other day just floating there twirling oh the half pipe invisible walls I don't think snags add much to a fishing game, honestly. There's never like a interesting way to unsnag. There used to be some trees out here you could climb to with your feet. I, uh, I found some invisible ledges in the sky I could walk on. You know, it's a big game. Lots of room for little error. I think that fish is on there, but we'll wait. Yeah, he's on there. Be a giant. You're incredibly small. Incredibly small. Another gibble. Man, a hot spot here, Noel. fun to blame someone else. I didn't throw this one far enough. I'm going to 
throw it again even though I'm running out of ground bait. It's a good prank you're playing on us all, Noel, by pretending like it was really good. Sick prank. Yeah, I just think that's Amber, man. It's, uh... <gasps> oh, oh, way to get my hopes up, game. Spots are just rotating all the time. Or you could just camp in one and hope you hit the hot spot, which is probably better, but boring. Or hit that hot time like you had. Because I've had that same effect in like three spots here in the last week but rarely can reproduce it and never can string it together for more than like a day Tench? Wild out here. Oh no, I ran out of small strawberry. back to town. How many tension gibbles did you catch, though? That's the real question. Small reel, not a big fish. Don't get excited. It'll only lead to disappointment.
Oh, I forgot it's the time of the year with school where every week they're going to ask for us to find people to donate money to some cause or another. Shit gets expensive, dude. You start to feel guilty asking your family every week for 50 bucks for some stupid charity thing your kid's doing. Sorry, charity's fine and all that, but... It's a walkathon. They should change it to a walkabout and make it Australian themed and like throw spiders on the track. I'd donate to that. Come on, buddy. Real. Put your back into it. There's the, there's the fish. What are you? Why do you got such a pointy looking nose? You're a framed carp. You can tell by the frame on your body. That was only seven and a half kilos. Blech. Holdberg has some pretty massive temp swings. That might be why. I'm an excellent driver. That's how I made it over two years with an expired license. Excellent driver. There's only one brand of strawberry. Seems like a real popular boily. Uh, my ground bait's been working okay, so I guess I'll just remake it, but I need to remember what it is. Pellets, 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 vanilla pellets, vanilla attractant. Because I couldn't buy strawberry attractant. I don't think I had any more. size I went wait they're all the same vanilla 
Ooh. Ooh, there's a strawberry with the spice. Strawberry spice, nice choice. Spicy. A little bit of both, scant. Lures are the same way. Um, however, this fishing specifically um, is a real thing. These pay lakes, they're called. Th 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 that's why this lake is set up with all these docks and it's all fancy and has four wheelers you can rent. Um, it's a, it's a thing where they have these stocked carp lakes with all different kinds of exotic carp species and big carp that you pay to go fish there. And because they're so heavily fished every single day, uh, people do get pretty wild with their attempts at coming up with a unique flavor. the one, the one true flavor. I just used uh, corn and jello in mine personally. He struggles walking and turning at the same time, moving the hang of it. Yeah, movement is the hardest part for uh, old folks. Uh, yeah, so what. Uh, was that a 10 out of 10? I hope so. It's actually kind of a really interesting way to fish as an American. Um, so what this this is the feeder so basically what you do is you fill this plastic thing uh full of ground bait which is like said that was a mixture of strawberry flavored pellets and corn flour and mush it into this feeder and then you have something similar of the same taste and s style on your hook and your hook floats just above that feeder. So as that feeder is letting, falling apart and degrading in the water and making a cloud of strawberry flavor, they accidentally eat your bait. It's not even, it's not like bass fishing or, a, you know, lure fishing where the goal is to get them to attack your bait. Uh, this it's really just they're in there in a feeding frenzy in a cloud of uh of ground bait and eat your bait on accident well i mean boilies are homemade too no it's not like not that complicated to make your own but yeah, I think boilies are, in the States, they're completely unnecessary. Out here, you'll catch more carp just throwing a worm than you will any fancy bait. Because our carp just have no pressure to them, they're not used to it. I think the hair rig is an excellent European idea. Um, at first glance, I never thought a hair rig would work. And I remember trying to convince some of my hillbilly buddies to try it. Uh, but yeah, here's the, uh, the hair rig for people who are unfamiliar with European carp fishing. Oh, that's my dashboard. Whoops. Why is it on that display capture? So 
so you'll see the bait is actually not on the hook. It's on a bit of extra line you leave hanging off your knot. But what that does is uh, prevents other small fish from eating your bait. Um, it's usually fake corn floating in a mess of real corn. It'll also prevent turtles and things like that from accidentally getting hooked that you don't want to catch. Because most bigger fish, including carp, when they feed, they feed via suction. <laughs> Slurp things up. They don't actually like well, come up and bite it and nibble at it. So uh, it works incredibly well. But yeah, this is a boilie on a hair rig. They're nice because they float well. Yeah, you'd have a real hard time finding boilies here in the States. I think there's also some some of that comes down to individual competition over spots as well because what these guys will do is they'll go out and leave ground bait at a spot for like a week and then go out and fish it so you try to come up with a creative ground bait that uh, gets the fish interested in that and keeps it from other people as well. So that way when some guy just shows up with generic corn, the fish are keyed in on whatever the fuck you've been feeding them for a week. Which makes, again, that makes sense to try to get creative with that instead of just do the same thing every five guys do. Yeah, exactly, Led. They do a ton of bank, bank fishing, too, instead of from a boat. Like, when I carp fish, it's from a boat, so, like, I can go wherever the fuck I want. Uh, but, like, yeah, they've got some crazy rod, European rods, too, where those guys are casting them, like, legit 100 meters. Really high-dollar fancy shit. while also being very small fighty rods, you know, small diameter, long, but small diameter. Thirteen feet, yeah. There is an American carp store online, actually. I didn't even know we had one. But it looks like their cheapest carp rod starts at $295. And they go up to crazy money.
they're imported too, so I mean that's gonna add to it. Twelve foot, twelve foot, thirteen foot. Wow, that looks like a fucking HSV, huh? Like identical. Crazy. I love Dial. That's a gorgeous looking rod. Rod, I mean real, but good lord, dude. I get three reels for that for bass fishing. Oh, here's a cheap carp rod. There's some cheap ones. They just have the expensive ones on page one. Hey, boy. God, that's crazy how much that looks like an HSV. This real chat. I mean, they're twinsies. He just gave it to you? That's sweet. Yeah, I buy a lot of my shit used from my friends who are like insane I like to especially the guys who are like transitioning into like die hard tournament fishermen cause they'll start out with like my price range shit and then gotta jump into I mean there's the same kind of high dollar bass rods that exist but but yeah, they'll start jumping into three, four hundred dollar rods and let me buy your used hundred dollar one. That's all I need. Yesterday's tournament, I uh, watched one of those guys I'm talking about break off on two decent fish. Meanwhile, I was fishing on a fucking eighty dollar combo and didn't break off on any of mine. Yeah, bait is where you can just absolutely lose it. Bait and tackle. I got fucking probably hundreds of dollars in tackle that I've never even cast. It's so easy to do, though. Like, you know, you go to the bait shop and you go there to get some line or some whatever, some bait. And you walk by this lure and you're like, dude, that thing looks fucking tight. Eight bucks? Sure, whatever. That's eight bucks. Then you've done that about 300 times and... On Amazon now, yeah. Uh, my reel of choice is uh, the Quantum Stratix. I like for spinning reels, my favorite, 100%. If I could afford all of my reels to be that, I would buy all of them that way. I love that reel. It's handsome and effective, but like 250 bucks. So I don't have many. I only have two. I swore I went back and bought. I guess I needed big strawberry too. Big strawberry. We'll try one giant one just to see. My bait caster of choice lately is the what is it called? It's a Daiwa. Can't remember. Daiwa. It's a weird word. 
because Dai was Japanese. Yeah, bike lures are a lot more too. Our bass lures are cheap. Did you get a Daiwa? Uh, God damn it, I can't remember the name of it now. Is yours also sexy as fuck? Um, it's pretty sexy. It's black. I have two black ones and a blue one, but they're the same type, just like a slightly different model. Yeah, I use soft plastic more than anything. More than lures. I need to do better at swapping around. And that's really where I struggle in the tournaments is... I get when you're on a time constraint, man, it's like really tough to convince yourself to swap even when you're, you know, especially when you're catching fish. Oh, that's why it's not working. I'm putting my batteries in upside down. Yeah, I buy Yum too. I, I love Yamamoto. I think Yamamoto is way better than Yum. I think they have a much nicer fall rate. Uh, and a better action when they're falling. They really get this like awesome looking wiggle. But yeah, eight seven fifty to eight fifty for a pack of fucking Yamamoto's compared to I've got yums as cheap as yum dingers as cheap as fucking two fifty. And yum dingers sell thirty packs. If you aren't buying thirty packs on Amazon Rectal, they're pretty dirt cheap too. Though, they don't last. So I, I, I used to buy in bulk a lot, but soft plastics just don't last. Are you using the O-ring and the wacky tool yet, Rectal? not into that you like i know the lull i get the lull because it seems like what a silly but dude you go through a tenth of the worms legit it is a hundred percent worth it like i get the how silly is all that nonsense putting an o-ring on my but dude the wacky tool is like four bucks and legitimately you will save on your fucking first good day of catching fish, you will save the cost of the wacky tool. 100% recommend it. And you'll get a lot less fish that just eat your worm. I'm sure you, if you've wacky fished enough, I'm sure you've had it where you fucking get a hard hit, set the hook, and reel back an empty hook. You'll get a lot less of that with the Deceiving a tooth mark you need? Oh, no, dude. Not me. Uh, I text. I do more Texas rig than wacky, which you know what it is. But for those that don't know, wacky is where you hook a worm in the middle and dangle it down so evenly off both sides, kind of, or a little off center, some guys like. But anyway, uh, and then Texas rig is where you run it through the head and out the back or the belly, whatever it is of a worm. So I Texas rig them, but as the head tears out, I just bite that fucker off. By the time I'll start with a five inch Senko, and by the time I'm done, I got like a Four and a quarter. What makes Russian fishing Russian? It's in Russia. Blew your fucking mind, huh? Swim baits, you, I feel you gotta swap them because if the ta tail tears, they don't swim worth a shit. If you rip the heads off, they don't swim the same because they're not aerodynamic anymore. That's literally it. The name is as, as as genuine as it can be. It's fishing in Russia. That's it's it's not a meme in any way. I know that it looks like it being Russian fishing for, but it's just it's just fishing in Russia. Shit. 
Shaky head? I don't like shaky head. I can't get... We're too weedy. There's that, like, nowhere I can throw a shaky head that isn't just pulling back fucking eight pounds of weeds. Oh, unless I'm fishing, like, deep weed lines, and then I'll, switch, I'll use drop shot instead. Can make me not, nah, dude. You can't make them weedless. There's nothing that's weedless through this. And this is what it looks like under my lakes. The most weedless lures in the world can't get through the weeds that I'm talking about we have here. Nah, because wackies, uh, well, that's part of why I don't fish that as much wacky, but I wacky fish weightless. So it doesn't sink to the bottom of that shit. It settles on top of it. Like, all of my soft plastic fishing is weightless except drop shot now. And if you're whacking with a weight, try weightless. Because I think it's a hundred, a hundred times better in most scenarios. Unless you're fishing over like 12 feet. Topwater frogs. Yeah, you can run a frog. I mean, you, you, if you frog, you know. Frogs still get stuck in that lily pad butt crack and things like that. But yeah, I frog a lot. My go-to topwater lately is actually a swim bait. Uh, like a Kitek or like a, a Rage Swimmer. The big soft plastic paddle tail. And I just burn that thing across the top of the water. It's almost like a, a less aggressive whopper plopper. The tail just does like a blip, 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 blip. It's won me money the last two weeks in a row. I had like the most disheartening missed fish of my life in the tournament last night. Topwater is tough for those that don't know. Um, it's super fun but has like the the highest miss rate of any technique in fishing. It doesn't matter how good you are, the best guys in the world miss more fish on top water than anything else. Um because one fish miss and two there's just a lot of sketchy bites that happen at that speed. But so this fish I'm I'm working my bait across the top. This fish fucking eats it. And you got to wait till the fish is back in the water because if you set the hook while the fish is out of the water you, you end up jerking the fish or pulling it out of its mouth right so fish eats it he hits the water as soon as i set the hook the fucker just did one of these bloop bloop and jumped right back up in the air i set the fucking hook and he just spun in the air and my fucking bait comes flying back out out at me i was like ah like a three and a half pounder just twirling in the air The hard part with top water is being patient enough to let him eat it. Like, let, let him get back in the water. Most guys hear that splash and set the hook in silly and end up hitting themselves in the face with a popper. Get muskied? Yeah. Top water works great for biking musky, and you can catch them without big leaders if you're moving. But the minute you stop, pike and musky are just line cutters. Because they kind of attack shit like a shark. A bass will actually, it'll eat two ways. It'll either come up and just like it off the top, or it'll fucking rock it out of the water with it. Pike and musky, they fucking do this like whoop straight up straight down thing that just gets that line right in the corner of their mouth and cuts it every time i've had pike cut 
50 pound fluorocarbon when I have pause top water. But if you keep it, if you keep it moving, I've caught 15 pound pike as long as I keep my top water moving. So when I know that it's a really pikey area, I just don't pause as much. use braids so not many issues with cut braid cuts easier than any other line <laughs> the easiest line to cut 100 percent. all fishermen agree except now you Yeah, exactly. Like you just you just can't let him swallow it, you know. I mean, you land some fucking. I watched a dude land a fucking giant the other day on six pound fluoro, drop shotting, tiny little size of one hook. I think he said it was, I don't know, forty two. I saw it. it was a big fucking fish. Forty two inches. With pike, we don't usually go by the weight here. We go by length. I know you go by weight, lead. Which is weird, because with bass, we go by weight. Oh, yeah, yak fishing is a nightmare, dude. Ah, the old Berkeley fire line. I don't know. I don't think line... I don't have, like, a huge line preference. Lately, I've been using this cheap P-line. It's like a fluorocardic fluoro coated mono they claim i don't know it's a little it, to my eye it's clearer than straight mono and it's only like a dollar more and it's lasted decently well because i fish so much weightless soft plastic i get a lot of line twists it's called the bait is tied without a swivel so when it spins in the water, it's twisting up your line, and your line turns into a telephone cord. So I usually don't, can't keep my line on too long. Twenty bucks for six hundred yards of braids on Amazon. I have heard those braids on Amazon are actually. I mean, braid is a pretty simple concept. I bit the bullet this year and bought a spool of Sunline Fluoro, which those who don't know, it's like one of the more expensive fluoros on the market. It's like, I don't know, it's like thirty bucks. Uh, but I just use it for leader, so I use it like twelve foot at a time. <laughs> and I will say, it feels incredibly better than the like Berkeley Invis, whatever they're. They have Berkeley has a cheap fluorocarbon. That shit's junk. Um, it feels in a lot better than the <clears throat> other brands of fluorocarbon I've used. But with like Braid, I don't know. I have Power Pro. I have Spider Wire. I have tried the cheapo Amazon. The cheapo Amazon is dirty. The green, like if you buy, I usually buy green braid. If you buy the green, the color like stains everything. The van, yeah, Berkeley Vanish, yeah, that shit's garbage. I use it for ice fishing and that's it. I use like their four and six pound Vanish for ice fishing. Yeah, that's what I've been doing with my finesse techniques. If I'm not doing, like, slow finesse techniques, then just give me big braid. I am I mean, I run, like, 8 to 10 pound, and then I just jump to, like, 20 to 50 pound. 
I don't really fuck around with any of the in-betweens. Anytime I'm throwing in thick shit like this, it's at least 20 pounds because you want. I don't want to deal with having to go retrieve my bait. I want to be able to just bring that bush back with me. Like frogging, especially, I use 50 pound because I'm going to bring back three lily pads at a time sometimes and a fish. Yeah, we've got a few. It depends. The uh, lake we fished that we uh, got second in on Sunday. Uh,. I think the claims from the uh, boats was there was over 65 pike caught. We only caught three, but one boat claimed to have catch 32. And another boat claimed like 15, and another one claimed like 20. So we have some lakes, but I don't think most of our lakes are that pikey. I bet if you go north, they are. I call it even 35 months. Thirty two, yeah, like so they were drop shotting in like twenty two feet of water and they said they caught like every single cast, like a sixteen inch pike. Like there like there must have just been a crazy small school of them. I've never seen pike I don't know if small pike school. I, I don't know that I don't know enough about them. But use it to make necklaces, yeah. What you know about at least, yeah, that's weird. Then it must have been just whatever was down there was whatever bait was down there was perfect for those small pike. Because I've never had that. I mean, I've definitely fished areas like as big as what I'm sitting in now and caught a dozen pike. But it'll be one over here, one over here. You know, it won't be. Once this year, though, I uh, I threw out a jig, got bit off. Wasn't sure if I got bit off or my knot was bad, so I tied on another jig, threw it out, got bit off, and went, God damn it, Pike. Then my little brother was, because he's a kid, he was like, I want to catch it. So he threw a fucking something in there, got bit off. And the exact, I mean, like, within... Like, this small of an area. And then finally I was like, fuck it, dude. And I tied on a big leader and threw in that same spot and caught, like, a, I don't know, like a 32-inch pike. I don't believe it was the same pike. So I do believe there must have been a bunch of them, for some reason, stacked in one little spot. Because he didn't have any of our hooks in him. <laughs> Yeah, that's more what I thought led. That they were probably throwing at like a some grass in twenty foot of water, and there was just a bunch of little pikes sitting in it. I bet that I bet like if this again, if this was underwater grass, I bet you'd have a pike like every five foot kind of deal. You know what I mean? Not necessarily schooled, but if it was open water, it'd look like a school. You know what I'm saying? But where, because it's in weeds, they've all designated, these are my weeds, these are my weeds, these are my weeds kind of deal. Yeah. We, uh, d I haven't found anywhere around here that has had that big of a school of deep bass. Um, like three or four tends to be our school of bass in deep water out here when they're chasing bait fish like that. 
And it's usually hard to catch more than like two of them before the other two get gun shy. Um, but we do get some like feeding spots where <clears throat> the movement is like crazy. So you, it, it's just reloading with bass all, as fast as you can catch them just about. Yeah, we have no shad. Russia's a big country, Toiler. I think people forget that. It almost is if it has like multiple climates. I think they even have like a near tropical place, don't they? I remember seeing that once. Like a step up from tropical. They have a desert for sure. Though a lot of frozen places are deserts <laughs> as well. Technically speaking are deserts too. They lost a lot. Uh, Russian tropical. Oh, they have some tropical islands. Like the Kuril Islands. Oh, those are what Japan calls the Northern Territories are legally part of Russia. Hottest place in Russia. Oh, Sochi, whatever the fuck that word is. Being part of the Caucasian Riviera, it is one of the very few places in Russia with a subtropical climate, with warm to hot summers and mild to cool winters. Oh, that's just Sochi. And then the Russian word. I see. That's where his bunker, I don't know. I, I saw he has a house on a lake in this game. I like on in IRL Ladoga Lake he has a house on like an island. Aren't frozen deserts just called tundras? Probably. But they're still a desert by... Because, like, isn't the desert just have to do with annual waterfall? Or whatever. Uh, I mean, you're probably safer in the frozen tundra, no? All right, this spot died. The rainforest can technically be classified as a desert. Th that's the problem with classifications. You know, they're dumb. It's like fruit and vegetables and peanuts or nuts. They're dumb. A fucking oct- We just found out yesterday an octopus doesn't have tentacles. So strap that on.
An octopus has arms, chat. I don't know how to live with myself after learning that one. Yeah, an octopus doesn't have tentacles. Tentacles come in pairs. And because octopuses' tentacles are not in pairs, they're technically arms or some shit. Even though they have an even number of arms, they're not specifically in pairs. Squids and cuttlefish have tentacles. And also arms. Both, but, you know. But they're not in pairs, Brian. That's the thing. That's the, that's the, the hard truth about octopus. E. I. fuck whoever made up that classification i'm just saying that's the problem with like if you really want to get too specific with things nothing's what it's supposed to be and the world is fucked yeah we learned a lot about octopus and squid specifically the humboldt squid and that stanford university is a joke all of these things yesterday it was a big stream I'm still mad about that one. They took a fucking boat to sea to study squid and how they mate, put squid in a fish tank, then fell asleep and missed it. I mean, that's cutting edge goddamn science right there. Yeah, it's just like, that's it, that's it, right? Or a peanut, right? Like, a peanut is a fucking nut. I don't care. It comes in a bag of mixed nuts. It's a nut to me. It'll always be a nut. They didn't record it. No, that's it, Brian. Like, what kind of scientists take all the, put all this, e no, a peanut's not a nut. Like, none of the nuts you think are nuts are nuts. Peanuts, like, fucking cashews. A peanut's a legume. A cashew's a fruit. It's like, it's a whole fucking mess, dude. There's like no nuts. The only nuts like a walnut. Cashews are little dicks on the end of fruits. They don't, they don't grow out like in a shell like a nut at all. They're this weird little seed thing that grows off the end of a fruit. Cashews are fucking tight. Yeah. I mean, nuts, all nuts but peanuts are pretty awesome. Peanuts suck. And then lied to your entire life? Dude, lead. I mean, I've done this one before too, but how about this song, I'm a Little Teapot? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. Now, here's the fucking problem with this song. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Teapots don't get steamed up. That's not what they do. That's a that, that's a that's a kettle. A teapot is what you put the boiling water into to make the tea. You don't put the teapot directly on the stove. It doesn't get steamed up. It doesn't shout.
Our life is just one big lie. It screams and I love it. No, it doesn't. Te technically, well, most people don't use teapots. But a teapot is, is not heated. Making it rhyme with kettle. But not telling children a lie seems like a great idea. No, you don't, Toiler. You, you boil water in a kettle. The pot doesn't scream, yeah. That's the point. The, the, the whole song, it's a song about a kettle calling himself a teapot. If you're gonna write a song about tea, you should get get it right. I mean, the angler call of the wild. You're gonna make a fishing game about fishing. You should understand how fishing reels work. I feel the same about people who make children's songs about tea. That's where it's it, Led. Yeah, they don't understand the basics of what they're doing. get back at your parents. I try not to lie to my child. For better or worse, dude. She knows more than she should. I have to lie to her today, I think, though. I don't know. I have to tell her that I'm selling the house, which I know she's going to be very upset about. And I can't give her the why, so like I gotta come up with a why that uh, is more fitting than the truth. No, oh, there's a lot of worse children's songs, I know. But it's more about the way we lie about classification. <laughs> it was relevant to the topic. We didn't need to do, like, the fucking, what is it, Ashes, Ashes, We All File Down one that's about people dying to the plague or whatever. Tell her it's haunted. There are bees. We have a bee problem right now, so may I'll tell her it's the bees. The bees have run us out of our home. God damn it, Jerry. I'm hoping it'll sell. I should have done it six months ago. I was trying to not. I'm hoping it'll sell. We'll see. Of course, realtors tell you at every time it'll... Oh, yeah, no problem. It'll sell. It's a disaster. The house is in shambles because, like, the whole purpose of buying it was to remodel it. And, like, I started, then got divorced instead. So, it's... A mess. So fingers crossed the dude ain't lying and he thinks he can actually get rid of it quick. I don't have anywhere to go, but like, that's fine. We'll figure that out. How's the hole in the wall? I mean, it's filled with drywall, but it doesn't match anything else in the rest of the house. I I think someone might buy it just to tear it down and rebuild it. It's a lake lot, so I have that going for me. And against me. Like, lake makes it worth more, but also reduces the number of people that will be interested, you know? In that weird weird, weird way.
it's a it's a you know it's 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 i we i guess we could say it's it's patched it's patched like you would the average person from the inside wouldn't realize that it's done so poorly <laughs> it's not up to code that's for damn sure The problem that has been the problem since uh, Kim left is, like, everything is a chain reaction in my life right now. Like, so I have another house, but I rented it to my brother. So... I have to kick him out. It, like... The reason, big part of wanting to keep this is not just I like living on the lake. It's and I would like to still do this dream I had of remodeling it. It's that the other option is sell it, throw my brother out, and live in that house, which is a oof, an oofda. Because, like, he'll understand, but it still sucks for him, you know? That's life. You know what? I'll go live in this tiny little dumper that I own. When I sold my house last time, some of you were around then, I sold my house that I remodeled, and I did okay on it. So it just happened to be when I sold my house, the lady next door died, and her kids just didn't want anything to do with it. So they were out there one day, and like came over to me and asked what I had just sold mine for and I told him and they're like man a realtor offered us something stupid like 15 grand said it's full of mold and it's it's a mess and it's gonna take a ton of money to fix it and blah 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 and I was like well I'll give you 20 now and they were like okay and I was like well shit I bought a house So it is a dumper, but, you know, I own it. And I can just live there for, like, $3,000 a year kind of deal. So that's what I'm probably going to do. It just have to hurt my brother's feelings. It's not that bad. It's just old lady chic, you know? Shag carpeting in the orange shades. Wallpaper. A clawfoot tub, <laughs> you know, old lady chic. We didn't keep the couches or her dentures. I thought about keeping her dentures just to see maybe they fit later. Dentures are expensive, I hear. They left her everything in her house. I hope my kid at least has the dignity and respect for me to throw my shit away. Not just sell it. 
for uh, peanuts to someone you don't know. Like their wedding albums and like everything, dude. At least throw it in the dumpster. I'm not big on dead people mementos either. It's clutter that you can never get rid of because you feel guilty about it. So if you just don't take it to begin with, you don't got to feel guilty about it. Dentures from Mexico. Sorry, that's there's an avocado commercial that me and my daughter always sing. And uh, I turned it into a denture one. They just did. They left everything. Yeah. Now, there, unfortunately, no cool antiques or anything. Just dentures and photo albums and... And weird uh, decorations. Old people decorations. The worst part is I'll have to get rid of my fiber internet and go back to Comcast. Hmm. No. So was it full of mold or was it all a lie? Uh... It wasn't full of mold. I do, th I do think. I think what happened is the lady just basically closed off upstairs and stopped using it entirely because she couldn't go up and down the stairs. So the upstairs was like really musty and gross. But the old, the realtor that tried to buy it from him was like, he's like a straight up con man. He's the like the town slumlord. Been doing it his whole life. Owns like fucking 50 properties here and they're all dumps. So I put a roof on it and new insulation in the attic because I think some of the insulation in the attic had gotten wet. So I just re blew the insulation and put a roof on it and it's been a fine little house. It needs a kitchen. It has no kitchen. The only thing in the kitchen is a sink. That's it. Just a sink. It's tiny, so you couldn't have much in the kitchen, but, like, you need at least some countertop. I guess it has a stove and a refrigerator and a sink, but there's zero countertop. That's what I meant. Sorry. And, and you, you have to have a place to prepare your fucking food. There's like eight inches on either side of it. It's like one of those old metal sinks that had like uh, eight inches on either side to dry your dishes. Get a pot and a potato, you got a stew going. Hell yeah. You could do maybe like a little rolly island thing. Roll it against the wall. And it's an older home that has only an upstairs bathroom. I lived in that when I was a kid. That sucks. When you're sitting downstairs watching TV and you gotta pee. You just don't. That, maybe that's why my bladder is so strong. Years and years of living in a house as a kid where the bathroom was upstairs. Go outside. It's in town. So remember why, like, the biggest reason I wanted to leave my house in town was because I didn't want to live near all the kids that lived in the area. 
And now I have to go live in the house next door. We got a hog. All right, not a hog. Damn it. And I don't want to be on a sex offender list for the rest of my life, Blake. That's a cute little corner lot. It's in town. Did not close themselves. Yes, hanging around. Kids climbing through my doggy door to seal snacks. Yeah, it was a mess. No, no garage. It's a different house. House next door. This will be the third house I've lived in on the street. And the street has... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight houses on it. So I'm th pretty good odds. I have, I've had a place. I have a, I have a home that I bought years and years ago that my little brother lives in. So that was part of it. I just, I didn't really want to have to evict my little brother. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Like, can we, like, not do fantasy options that'd be cool it's the most frustrating thing on twitch just make things that cost mountains of money duh No, I know. It's just always Twitch's fucking answer is, why don't you just buy this? Why don't you just do this? It's frustrating. I get that uh, number one RF4 streamer should be rolling in it. What is this fucking dinky fish? Oh yeah, still made it. I, I, my biggest regret in life, Happy, is not being born to wealthy parents. Honestly. I've made a lot of mistakes, but that's number one. Actually, my parents were pretty well off when they had me. My dad's still doing pretty well for himself, considering. By my standards. Pretty amazing, actually, considering how many times he's uh, blown it all up being an alcoholic. That fucker didn't need it. I'm going to go see if that order is still there. Yeah, we, uh, my, when my parents were married, we were doing pretty well. 
and then when my parents got divorced, we were dirt poor, like food from the church poor. Oh, that's tight, dumpster. People get mad at me because they always are harassing me about finding a, 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 a partner in life. And I'm like, the problem is, like, the only reason I even would consider a serious relationship is the second income. <laughs> like, hand jobs and second income. I could get that from a bro. Well, I hope she at least helps out then with the kid because that's a he that's really what I lost more than the income was like just the ability to be able to work more and it's a little bit lost and a little bit found right like what really s triggered me to sell my house was I missed something the other day I couldn't do something the other day because I was just too fucking tired and uh you know I have found a bigger joy in parenting since I it was forced upon me you know like I know that sounds bad maybe but um Kim and I always agreed that like I would just bust my ass and someday I would slow down and 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 be around more uh but while I was making as much money as I was to just fucking grind hard you know pretty classic story I think but when that wasn't an option anymore I've just found a lot of joy in spending more time with my kids so I mean that's a big reason I want to sell fuck off with the money oh no that's a lot of money don't fuck off with the money I'll take it but fuck it hurts my feelings in like a good way I'll read it in a second I'm finishing my train of thought because guilt I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? But yeah, so I don't want to work 60 hours a week anymore. You know, I, I do. I, I am trying to get back to a better, more consistent. I've been doing it for the last couple weeks. Pretty happy with myself. Um, and But part of the needing to work that bad is this fucking house. So getting out from under it, spend a few years living on the cheap, cheap. And... Doing what I do. I like being a Girl Scout leader and helping with cheerleading, and I like doing that. It's it's become a, a very important part of my life, and I, if I have to choose between having twice as much money or ten times the relationship with my daughter, I choose my daughter. You know. It's a good pain. A good guilty pain. DJ, that's a ton. Happy belated birthday. Streamlabs. Dude, Streamlabs has been doing this to a lot of people and not letting them tip and making me really need to reevaluate what I use as a tip option. You won 9,000 on the slots? DGA. I don't feel so guilty anymore. Hell yeah. Casino money. Thank you so much, dude. That is an absolute boatload of money. And it means the world to me. I appreciate it very, very much. And congratulations. See, what are you going to buy? Did you decide yet? God, that's a lot of money. Thank you. Fuck. That's so much cocaine. I'm a good boy. I'm probably an idiot cat. I don't, I really don't know. You know, that's the scariest part about life. You just never know if you're making the right fucking choices. You don't have any desires. That's awesome. You want to get into bass fishing? Because we could get a boat. You and I could take over the world, you know?
trying to be happy. Yeah, it's just, you know. Me and my mom got into a big fight the other day <clears throat> about this, you know, making the best choice. Like, they're just... We talked about this a lot when Kim left. There just isn't always a good option. There isn't... and. Th I had to come to terms with that because I it, like was having panic attacks and, and really a mess emotionally because I was trying to find a good option where, where I, there wasn't any bad outcomes. But th that's just not always the case, man. So it's trying to figure out the best option, but it'll probably still have some negatives. You know? I mean, that's how I got here, Evil Din. Nine years later, I'm still here. I was the right place at the right time. Yeah, uh... I spent a lot of time talking about my upbringing and like the struggles in my life and stuff like that. And like, I never really worded them as big struggles or big issues. And chat always found that amazing that I just kind of laughed them off. But it's because I could always find the, the positive results of so many things. Um, but this last time when Kim left and I knew it was the last time, like I knew for sure that was it, we're done. Um, that was really what was hard was there was no way for me to find a positive result to so many things, you know. Um, now that it's been a few years, I've found some, like I just said, you know, I feel like I've become a way better dad and a way more involved father and have a relationship with my daughter that, you know, it's everything to me, man. It is everything to me. Um, But at the time, losing 50% of my child's childhood was just, I mean, it killed me, man. It, uh, it was, I, I really, I, I joke about how bad I get sometimes. And I, I try to turn most things into a joke. It's, it's my defense mechanism. But there were a few days there that, yeah. I was looking for the good big tree on the drive home. Uh, but I, I... I don't know. I feel pretty good. I feel the best I've felt in a long time. Um, like, by far. It's weird. It's going to sound like so fucking corny. <laughs> uh... But I don't know if the two have anything to do with each other or not. Let's start there. But, like, since I've started taking care of my body and myself, I have felt so much better and more motivated. I, You know what it actually is, I bet? You know, you never know for sure because your brain is a wild fuck box of I hate you. Um, but as I've started to see results in taking care of myself, quitting sugary drinks and eating better. And uh, it's made me more motivated to try to fix other things in my life. I, I don't know that it's actually just because I'm a healthier person. But I think a lot of it is seeing the results. And it, with your body, it is pretty easy to see the results. I'm like fucking six pounds from a six pack here chat you wait yeah i just don't want her to have any guilt Usain. um my family is unfortunately pretty loudmouthed, including her mother and i think everybody has been pretty judgmental of the fact that you know, I gave up a hundred thousand dollar a year job to be an over the top father. 
Um, <laughs> and I just hope she doesn't ever feel like any guilt from that. Which is like the talk I want to have with her today about selling the house. I, I'm not going to say that to her, but, uh, you know, it is about money that I'm getting rid of it. I, I just can't afford it anymore. Uh, but I don't want her to feel like, you know, I chose her over what I wanted kind of deal. Because it turns out that was the thing I needed and wanted more than a house on a lake. No chance for a part-time job. It's the time. That's It's not about, like, my stream is, I know why my stream is not making the money it used to make. It's because I'm not putting in the hours. I don't have the hours available. That's, that's exactly it. I don't have the hours available anymore without giving up Girl Scouts and cheerleading and fucking random nights off to just sit on the couch and watch bad TV with her, you know? And, uh... I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather make half and or less and do that, you know? If it kills my stream, I mean, it'll suck. It's, I, I know that, I'm sure that when I'm 60, I'll have some regrets about not grinding harder on Twitch or whatever, but hopefully not, you know? Yeah, I, I'm a Girl Scout leader. I had to get CPR certified last this summer and uh, something else, first aid certified, which both of those felt like only f as soon as I get ripped, dude, that's how I'm going to get back, manage to be a part-time worker and rich. The only fans. No butt shots, though. Sorry, Chad. I got a bad ass. Not, like, in a cool way, but still like, not a good ass. To get an office job, to get a worse job, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm planning on beefing up my hours, Duran, Duran, Duran. 100%. And I have been the last two weeks. I hope people have noticed. They, they're going to be inconsistent, as they always have been since day one here on Twitch. Um, but... No, I'm I'm I really want to get back to six hours, uh, you know, five to six hours a night, um, every night or day, depending on what's going on during the week. Just uh, not that's nothing like I was doing before because what people didn't realize was. In the Isaac days, it wasn't just six hours of streaming. It was six hours of streaming, two hours of fucking rubbing elbows, flying to conventions. It was a lot, man. It was a lot. Answering messages and emails and DMs. and It was a lot. Those of you that are low-maintenance viewers, thanks. But it hasn't always been the case. I mean, some of you are old enough to remember I used to get on fucking TeamSpeak after a stream and spend two hours talking to viewers. And, like, now that I look back on it, it feels manipulative almost. But, you know, at the time, it, it was just about growing an audience. And and part of that is, yeah, almost manipulative. I'm idiot in my Twitter. I like Twitter interactions are my favorite, dude. Honestly. I have the most fun tweeting random junk. I couldn't come up with a way to tweet this yesterday because it was too wordy and I'm bad at English. 
But so I'm at the fucking DMV, right? Um, I'm getting my license. Had a funny interaction, tweeted that. A much funnier interaction, though, was this old lady walks up next to me, the spot next to me. And I didn't, I mean, an excellent eavesdropper. I'm always listening to every conversation going on around me. Um, I didn't pay attention to exactly what she was after. I think it had something with her husband dying. But anyway, uh, she needed better forms of ID. And they're like, the lady's like, do you have a driver's license? And she's like, well, it's expired. I stopped driving when I was 92, which made me look because she said when I was 92. So I look over and I'm like, Jesus Christ. And she's like, and that was like uh, seven years ago. <laughs> uh, and, the <laughs> and the lady's like, wow. You look amazing, all that nonsense. And the lady's like, yep, outlived that queen, too. <laughs> and I fucking just died laughing. It was my favorite queen meme that I've heard yet. It was just some 99-year-old woman. Yeah, she was still driving at 92. She said, I'm, ru I'm running, running out of women to outlive. And she walked her ass up to that counter. That queen. Because she'd seen another one, you know? What was actually was a king before the queen, wasn't it? Edward, yeah. That's pretty crazy to think about. She was old enough to... No, there's no age limit. Well, like, on the, the young side, unfortunately, because if I could teach my daughter to drive, she wouldn't need me at all. Yeah, the vision test is the only test they do for driver's license in my state. And that's unfortunate because there should, I don't know how they would do a reaction test or something like that, but like, there's no way. Like, that old lady was as together as 99 can be, but there's no way she has the reaction time necessary for driving. People get mad at old old folks for driving like 45, and I get that it's a bit of a hazard. But like, could you imagine if fucking 85 year old women were tailgating you? <laughs> they gotta realize, like, I gotta go slow and keep my distance because it's gonna take me two seconds to apply pressure to this break. This is reminding me of an old dinosaur cartoon I saw where they set a firecracker off on a dinosaur tail and it took him like 48 seconds to feel it. This is the longest... I've ever spent just reeling in a dumb fish. Rip. Oh my god, it's already 2.30, chat. I gotta uh, pick my daughter up. Don't let me forget. I need like a hooli hoo at 3.10. Mm. Mm. Next fish break. I need to go change my clothes real quick. New gymnastics class? New, I'm not going to say new moms, but that's what I wanted to say. But that makes me sound like a man, like a bad kind of, but like new moms. New moms to me. I'm not horny. And if anyone knows that it's you. Curious to meet new moms? 
Sure. Wow, how did you pick up horny vibes? That's bullshit. I'm not wouldn't dare discuss our conversation, but that's crazy. I'm like I would say I'm like a four on the horny scale out of ten. Which is like my testosterone's not quite gone yet. Six. Or I'll take a six. Six ain't bad. That's that's like hardly horny though. When the average dude's like a at least a seven. Which makes the six out of ten a bad number because it's not average and confusing. Oh, I thought you were a shiny. You're just a commie. I don't even think you're that big. I'm pretty upset by this situation. Look how dumb and fatty is upside down, chat. Like a turtle. Oh, never mind. I didn't get a skill up. Glad I left Null's shitty spot. Better now that I caught that little trophy common. That's a big salmon, Pinky. I bet that was a ride. Listen, you're biting too fast. I need to change my clothes. pop off Our brains are wildly different. All right, quick clothes change. Uh, how do the shorts look? Just like one little vape stain on them. Stupid leaky vapes. That just shows that I've been working or came. Either way, impressive. A fish. I'm, I didn't even stand up yet. Where's my hat? I need a haircut so bad. Look at this. Touch my nose.
Are you on there or what are you doing? There you go. I hope you get it figured out, Danny. Like Ellie said, I do know a lot of people, man. It's just about getting it right. And uh, continuing to talk to your doctor about it. Though, American healthcare. My dad has been, like, super unhealthy. He has all kinds of shit going on. Um, but his doctor retired. So that was his first excuse. I don't want to go because I don't want to find a new doctor. So he finally finds a new doctor. Goes in. And the doctor basically told him, like, hey, you know, we need to do a lot here to figure out what's going on with you. And my dad's like, all right. Well, I'd like to schedule our next appointment then, and we'll get to work on it. And my dad fucking schedules an appointment for one year, one month from the day. Because that's when he retires and gets fucking Medicaid. So sad. <laughs> hate that shit but so many of us live that way I know don't go cause money When do you replace your socks, chat? When there's a hole in them? Holes. That's what I said. I stole a pair of socks from this girl I dated like eight years ago. I just, I just put them on my feet. But when I told her like two years ago I still had those socks, she like looked at me like I was some sort <coughs> some sort of lunatic for still having five year old socks. My s these socks are fine. There's not a whole one in them. Why would I get rid of them? My daughter was still in diapers when I got th when I stole these socks from somebody.
90% of you don't wear socks. I wear socks always. Like, always. Always, chat. Yes, that means I fucking socks. Slippers are too hot. Well, obviously not in the shower, because wet socks are the only thing worse than being barefoot. Hey, Bug Knight, how you been, man? I wish I had shower socks. Oh, I should do this, too. That's, I lie. I take my socks off to sleep. But usually, like, the last thing I do before I fall asleep. I lay down for a while with socks on. Maybe watch a little tube. Or maybe just scroll through my phone. And, like, as I'm in that, like, weird almost-asleep state, I scrape my socks off with my toes. Oh, did you? you Look around for me? I haven't been out there in quite a while now. My dad quit going, so I quit going with him. Water shoes, yeah. You could wear water shoes into the shower, I guess, if you were a weird little freak. I mean, it would make sense in a public shower. People wear, like, Crocs and water shoes into public showers because they don't want the fungus. But my shower is just my feet and my kids' feet, you know? I can deal with that. I'm not a little freak. I'm a regular ass person. Super normal. Pretty cool guy. Even. Boy, this has been garbage fishing. And still no damn skill ups. Not a liar. I've never lied. Just second fish. God, my phone is just worthless, dude. It's that it must be that age where they've decided to make it incredibly slow with the newest update. I don't know if that's true or not, but it feels that way. Eighteen months already. Wow. Yeah, I know, man. It's crazy. It's gonna be uh It's gonna be nine years partnered in a couple of months. Which is pretty nutty. It's already nine years of streaming. Oops, I changed the wrong one. I think this month was 104 months of sub, of partnered, whatever. Did I see what happened to you on Sunday? You sent me a message? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. A little, oh, I think I have my Facebook open.
I have a life. Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You call it that. That was the Girl Scouts. Messed me. I got to stop this stupid carp fishing. I'm going to give up on bottom fishing getting to 100. I quit. It's never going to get there. Maybe someday on accident. I told I tell people all the time, don't try to force the grind cuz they just burn you to the ground. It's still if you wouldn't trade with anything. Oh, uh, I don't know if that's true. I get I, I mean I guess if I can't bring my daughter along with me, but like There's pr it's a big world. So there's probably a life out there with a kid that's like almost identical to Alice. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm joking. That's a that's a joke. We got what? Twenty minutes. Then she's got to take her to fucking gymnastics. Ugh. I wonder if the ice cream shop's closed. I haven't taken her to the ice cream shop once after a sport thing this year. <coughs> really slacking. Spend BGA's hard-earned money on ice cream. That's fun. See, jerk move. Kind of jerk move a guy I know would make. Yeah, I think I will take her today if they're still open. They usually close at some point in the fall. Let me look on the Facebook that I just closed because it alerted. You want to know my fun one today, Ellie? My ex-wife asked me if I would watch her and her fiancé's dog while they were on their honeymoon. Come back, thank you for the five gift subs. I said yes, listen. Unless the dog sucks. I mean, it sucks in a way, you know. Thank you, Convex. You'll get some ice cream. Probably uh, bubble gum. Possibly Superman. Rare shot Blue Moon. You probably don't know any of these. Wait, no. You do. I forgot where you live now. You could be American. You could also be from Norway. Or Sweden. 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 It is not beer flavored. You're American, though. Sweden is correct. You know Blue Moon beer in Sweden? Really? I figured y'all just had your own decent beer and didn't need our 
dumb American beer. Oh, Coanello drink it. There's a reason. I think that might is that I think that might be an American beer. Or not American, a Michigan beer. No, it's not. It's a big brand beer, huh? What is the big Michigan brand that people like? I can't remember. Another summery beer like Blue Moon. I don't remember what it is, though. Oberon. That's the one. Yeah, Oberon. Also a sun. So super confusing. Now I also just realized Blue Moon's a sun. That's a moon. <laughs> it's not a sun, huh? It's a moon that looks like a sun. It's a very sun-shaped moon. No cheese on it. I'm pretty mad we did that in our tournament last night. I did great again. My partner really fell apart yesterday. He missed, not missed, lost four fish, which, like, I'd say on average we each probably lose, like, one a day. Won a tournament, but that's probably high even. Probably half a fish a tournament. But he lost four yesterday. It was tough. And I killed it again. Just killed it. It's like three weeks in a row for me I've been on fire. Which, I, he's the driver. So the guy in the back is supposed to just, like, help. He's like, he's not, I'm not supposed to carry. We're going to have to have a long talk next week. I'm super mad at the weather because it has rained every single tournament for, like, the last seven weeks. I think is my last recording. I was all excited to have all this YouTube content to put together. But, like, it won't stop raining. And I don't want to burn up all of my gear in the rain. Slip the hook every time you will. I think it was, I, I was arguing with him he was using the wrong hook. It does make fishing easier. It makes for good fishing, but it makes for bad news on electronics. I don't know. I guess guys that do it for a living just have a lot of cameras. Because, like, a GoPro only records for, like, an hour. And then it needs to be charged. That's a shiny. Hey, skill up. Specialty rain gear? There's, n as far as I know, Danpian, there's no real way to charge it and remain waterproof, right? The issue isn't the cameras, it's the charging. Because you can't have something plugged in and have a perfect seal. They're all, like most of the decent action cameras, are waterproof. I've seen one case that has it, but it also gets rid of your microphone. And because they only record for like 
50 to an hour, 50 minutes to an hour before the battery is dead, you've got to keep charging them. Or I guess you could spend a fortune on batteries. But like we do six hour tournaments, two cameras. That's a lot of batteries. And you, like, you could try to turn it on just when you catch a fish, but, like, that misses the cool. We had some really good top water hits the last two weeks. And you miss that. If you, it's not like you know what's going to happen. This one rod is just slaying them. The other rod. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never believe a YouTube video show the only big. I um, edit mine down to usually only show the decentest, the decent fish. Um, but I high speed like all my footage because I agree, Dingleberry. I try my best not to cut out any footage. I just run it at like a thousand speed. So you still see that we're like getting snagged, catching dinks, pissing. One day you're going to see Jason's dick. Because that man pisses every 32 minutes. Chunk Panda. That's a Chunk Panda right there. I'm pretty sure that drag's turned up. Yeah, Dingleberry. Or just see like a drastic, even even not that extreme, but just a drastic change in scenery. And sometimes they'll even say like, oh, we moved spots after not catching them for a minute. But like, how long was it? I do think that's why YouTube makes a way better place for fishing, though. Like the times I IRL fished, you know, sometimes you can go an hour between fish. I'd love to be able to do it once in a while, though, IRL fish again. It was fun. Oh, no, my drag was kind of low. Not that low, though. If you love fishing, I think it's different, Dingleberry. Like, I watch fucking... Uh, so one of the Sundays, I usually take Sunday off streaming is, and when I fish because I'm exhausted, but I came back after like a fucking, oh, it was my last classic. So like two weeks ago, I fished for fucking eight hours, drove an hour and a half to get there, drove an hour and a half to get home, came home and watched five hours of professional bass fishing. Like, yeah, some of us, I'll watch dudes. I watched that Australian guy that beach fishes all the time. The old man, older man probably fucking 10 years older than me anyway uh and i've never seen him catch a fish i like asking him questions about what's different between here and the states i don't know uh, is he chunky yeah kind of i mean i would say he's stocky i, I, I think he's just a big boy He's knowledgeable, and I like that he's, like, uh, kind of an asshole because his way or the highway, I made the mistake of using the term J-hook in his chat, and he gave me, like, a, a very long lecture. The J-hook is a certain brand and not a type of hook. Which I, I like. I mean, you know, it's your show. Do your thing. I just gave a long lecture about teapots so for the 38th time. It's 
Some of the places he fishes, though, just look like they shouldn't exist. Just these fucking pristine beaches with nobody around. <laughs> I've only tried to beach fish in the Gulf, and it's always just people fucking everywhere. And birds. With people come birds. No. I've only ever watched that guy. I There was some other guy I tried to watch, but he was just chain-smoking cigarettes, so I left. Remember when I used to laugh at people? Nah, 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 I never did. I understood people who were quitting smoking that couldn't watch me smoking all day long. People fucking everywhere. Sounds like a wild beach. Yeah, my kind of beach. I never fucked in the sand, but it sounds terrible. Like, genuinely. I got a handy once, and it didn't end that great. It was like pumice soap by the time we were done. Pumice. I like pumice better, but pumice. Nah, I don't care for the Twitch tournaments. It's too much nonsense. The, the the problem is they they got to do like handicaps and stuff for where you live and because I mean there's no way I can bass fish compet I I like live in the state with the smallest bass. Which they do do, yeah, they do do sm like a handicap for it, but it's still nowhere near enough. I fished in two leagues this year, a total of like at least 20-something tournaments, and only one fish broke five pounds. Why did I cast so far to the right? And that not, not, I don't mean that I only caught one that broke five pounds. I mean, of all the boats that fished in both those leagues, only one fish broke five pounds. You can't compete with Texas. You, not going to happen. Even the last Bassmaster event I watched in Wisconsin... Like, I think between the first three days, like, there was one or two over four. That's those three-eyed Simpson fish. They just got fucking legit chonk pandas. Twelve-pounders there. And bigger. Eighteen is the record, huh? Yeah. Eighteen point one eight. And set in the last thirty years. Michigan's record is eleven and was set a hundred years ago.
Dootin dootin doo doo. I hate my kid's bus because it's like the least reliable bus ever. I don't know. I've never lived in a city with public transportation. But it's got like a 10 minute variance either way. tried to talk to the there's a new mom out there at the bus stop because we have like a shared bus stop because we all live on these little private drives on the lake <clears throat> i tried to talk to her to be like hey we should uh you know just talk to the school and be like it's okay to leave our kid with either of us because she was late the other day and they were going to take they'll take your kid back to school if you're not there when the bus shows up they won't drop it off it is just the best way to reference children Good job, Richard. Five-minute warning. I know if I catch a donkey, I'm going to have to just let it run. How many of these dumb carp do I have left to catch? A lot. The common scaly albino. The frame-sided albino. The frame-sided ghost. I feel like I just keep catching the same, too. A linear albino. A linear ghost. So many. Scaleless albino. Scaleless ghost. Starvis red carp. Isn't there a red, another red one? I think there is. That I didn't read somewhere in there. Yep, the scaly red. Yeah, within like a year or two, I'd say she's old enough to walk from the bus stop home on her own. It's not very far, and it's, like, mostly, so it's, like, a curve and then my driveway. So that's the only part that's sketchy is she's got to walk through, like, a curve or around a curve. But there's plenty of room. I don't know. She's a smart kid. Lance, thank you for the 56 months. Yeah, I walked to him from school in second grade with my brother, though, who was in sixth grade. But he usually just ditched me for his friends, and I walked with my friends. Yeah, Lance, you know, it's okay. We had a decent little stream here. It's a shorty because I got to pick Alice up. But I'll be back on tonight. Alice likes to ride the bus. It was my idea originally because I wanted like 30 extra minutes of sleep. But then the bus is so inconsistent that I kind of hate it now. Potential new houses? Nah, I mean, I don't have any money. I'm not buying a new house. If I sell mine, if I sell mine, it's to be without uh, a new house. I, I have another house. Some of you remember I bought one when I sold my last one. Um that I let my little brother live in. So, like, worst case scenario, I'll evict him and live there and feel guilty for the rest of my life. You paid off the mortgage this week, Lacker? You just started buying the house, like, a month ago. You carried a knife to school. You got in big trouble here. But we did carry pocket knives after we got home from school. That looks like a shiny. That is a shiny. But I think it's just another one I have. Maybe not. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, I don't think kids ever get searched, got searched for knives when we were kids, but kids were stupid and would pull them out at school to show their friends because they were dumb. 
dude, this rod is the hero. Single-handedly keeping me fishing. It's funny because it's got a smaller hook on it, too. Last fish, then I gotta run. Unless it's a giant, then I'm gonna have to run anyway. I brought some Michigan ragweed to school once because it looks like a marijuana leaf and showed a bunch of my friends that I had a marijuana leaf, which is funny because there's not like a marijuana leaf is w worthless. It's, you can't smoke it. Uh, I mean, you could, but anyway, the point is it doesn't, it's worthless. Um, and one of my friends fucking ratted me out and then they like searched my whole body, my shoe. He was smelling twigs in my shoe. Thought I had the marrow, the reefer on me. My mom was pissed. And then she was pissed again when I admitted that I did bring ragweed to school. Why'd I have twigs in my shoe? Because I was a fucking kid, dude. My shoes were probably three sizes too big for me. We were poor. When we went shoe shopping, you had to have enough room in your shoe to grow for like eight years. Like, yeah, this shoe will fit you when you're 18. Mom, I'm four. Could have been a whole other foot in there I wouldn't have known. I cannot make that bobbler. I am sorry. I would like to congratulate you, though. As being the first ever partner to beg in my stream in nine years. It's a, it's a record. It's the first one. Uh, my chat can make you one, though. If you join my little fishing chat, they'll make you one, I bet. Someone in here will. Unless you have your own that you don't want to leave. But uh, it's Richard underscore Hammer and then password Rich Ham with a capital H in the ham. 311. I'm late. I got to go get my kid from the bus. Thank you for being here, chat. Thank you for being generous and listening to me be me. Uh, I'll be back tonight with a regular night stream. Uh, but DJ, yeah, chat will give you more details if you want the password. I bet one of those guys will make it for you, though. We have quite a few guys who can make them and are pretty cool with it. 